Welcome to this 3D printing quick tip. Now this is a quick tip that's come about because a couple of my subscribers have managed to get themselves into a bit of a problem where the printed end or the spider on their Rostock style printer is falling down and hitting the bed or hitting the print at the end of a print job. And that happens because the stepper motors after a certain amount of time idle are disabled and turned off and then that means that the whole assembly that holds the hot ends and everything else falls down and hits the bed or unfortunately if you just print it apart then falls down and hits that printed part. So as I've had a couple of questions about this and how you stop it doing it I've got a couple of things I want to talk about and also I've designed a little 3D printed part that will help with it too. So the first thing we want to talk about then is why does this actually happen? Well, as I've said, the way the printer actually works is that in the Arduino code that makes up the program that the printer is actually running, and again here we're looking at a GE Tech Rostock G2S Pro printer that we actually did in our series earlier in the year, in the configuration underscore ADV or advanced configuration dot H, about halfway down there's this line here. Define default stepper deactivate time 60. Now that 60 is the amount of seconds. Now the way we actually did the printing on this printer was I showed that I like to preheat the ends and the print bed. Because what happens is the printer will only wait 60 seconds and if it, nothing else happens then it will disable the stepper motors. And for those of you that are printing the first time on these Rostock style printers where the head is always kept in place by the stepper motors, it can take more than 60 seconds for the printed end to get up to temperature if you're not preheating. So that can be a problem. So you can change this to any number that you want, or if you want to disable it, you can actually change it to zero. So first of all, this is something that you should think about when you're creating the firmware. I've left mine at 60 seconds, although 120 seconds or two minutes would probably be a better number. Occasionally on the higher temperatures, it takes a little bit of time to hunt around to settle down on the hot end before it starts to print. The other time that we actually get into trouble is at the end of the print job. If we actually look at the slicing software, and this is the slicer that we've been using to actually print with the printer, you can see at the very end, the last command here is M84. Now M84 actually disables the stepper motors and that's what brings the stepper motors crashing down onto your part. Now there's a couple of things you could do here. You could of course remove this M84 command and again that will stop the stepper motors being turned off. But even if nothing happens, then after the timeout that we've just looked at, make that 60 seconds by default or 120, the stepper motors will be disabled anyway. So what can we do to sort it out? Well, of course, we can take this command out of the slicer so it doesn't appear at the end of the G code that the printer is running. Or we can actually jump into the Arduino code and we can change that number to a little bit higher. Or you can do what I do here. I keep mine at 60. I don't like the idea of the stepper motors running idle for too long. It puts a lot of thermal stress on the stepper drivers and they can get a little bit hot. So what I've done is I've actually created a little part, which is this thing here. And it's up on Thingiverse if you look for Painless 360. I've called it the GE Tech G2S Carriage Clip. And here it is in real life. So this is a 3D printed part that you can print on your GE Tech. I've printed three of these and the way it works is you can actually slide it over the top of each of the axes, both the X, Y and Z or each of the three vertical pillars. And then what happens is when the final commands to go home and then turn off the stepper motors, the G code is executed. As the carriage actually rises, it catches this bottom part which is sprung and then is held in place at the top and this is the way that I do it. So I just wanted to share this with you so that one you knew that those were the options for you if you didn't like the head of the printer crashing down into the printed part at the end. Uh, also if you didn't mind that and you wanted to keep all the settings the same you also have this carriage clip and again the way you use this is once the print job is underway, you just clip these on each of the vertical risers in each of the corners, and the next time the carriage goes to the top to home out, which should be at the end of the print job, it will make sure the carriage doesn't fall down 
when the stepper motors are turned off. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.